that is not a choice. It is an obligation to our Creator. And each and every one of us, right from the time that you are born, as a mother, you know, and also as a parent, you know the right of children of you, which is part of making sure that you bring them up according to the um, tenets of Islam. And you invite that in them, that they have to enter Islam completely. You cannot negotiate the rules of Allah. So you can choose prayers, choose fasting, and say you go out naked. As a Muslim woman, or even as a Muslim, hijab is a necessity for us because it's part of our faith. And the men have their part that must be covered at all time. And for us, the women, we have to be completely covered. So our Muslim girls, our Muslim women are aware of this. But as you said, yes, now we are penetrating more into the youth. We attend their MSS, that's their Muslim Society Association meetings. We talk to them and we use the youth more now to pass the message to their fellow um, youth. And with Allah on our side, inshallah, things will be better. And for the National Assembly, we are still liaising with them, we are still negotiating, we are still, you know, there's a lot of synergy between us and the people that are supporting that we have before. Very soon, this will come to pass. And at least what we are just telling Nigerians, who are our fellow uh, country uh, people, to please accept us for what we are. We are Muslims, and we have to dress and behave like Muslims. So let us accept each other, tolerate each other, and be able to live in peace and harmony. And we thank you very much for supporting this cause, for being here with us, Please pass our message. All we are asking for is tolerance, is acceptance. Let us tolerate each other for the betterment of the society, for Nigeria to live in peace and to progress. Thank you very much. Um, I agree it's a very valid point. And we have to understand that once a woman is in hijab, then everything she does has to be different. A woman in hijab cannot be seen on the road fighting. A woman in hijab cannot be seen behaving in the wrong way because she is portraying Islam. If you are portraying Islam, you have to be an ambassador of Islam so that whoever sees you says, oh, so this is how kind of Muslim and this is how Muslims behave. Actually, the way we behave is the way we portray the religion. So if we ask for the kind of hijab, we must behave appropriately. And with that, nobody can use a woman in hijab to do things that are wrong. Please, I agree with you. As we are going to schools, as we are talking to university students, those in secondary school and the rest, we need to let them understand what the hijab entails. It's not just wearing it, but it's also also the behavior and the etiquette while in hijab. And we all have to understand that. Even if we are pushed beyond limits, we remember that we are doing things for the sake of Allah. And we have to portray ourselves as responsible Muslim women. Assalamu alaikum.